So welcome back to This Week in Video Games, and it's Tuesday, the 26th of January 2021, and that means it's the weekly reset in Destiny 2, where the content rotates, the vendors and the challenges reset, and we've got a chance for new content to be added into the game. Let's check out the weekly reset items for the week. And first up, let's check out the new content. And there doesn't appear to be any new content for the week, but if you didn't manage to get a random roll of Hawkmoon last week from the Harbinger mission, then what you want to do is head down to chat to Crow on the Tangled Shore, pick up their quest, and then go to the EDZ and start that one off. It's a great piece of content, plus you get two Hawkmoon random rolls at the end, and the Hawkmoon Catalyst too. And if you did do the Hawkmoon quest last week, then you can jump in again and pick up more feathers and work your way towards that ship. So that is the Bird of Prey quest there. Looks like I've got 33 feathers so far, though still got a little bit of way to go. Let's check out the seasonal activities for the week with Season of the Hunt. So Crow's bounties have been reset once again. He's still there on the Tangled Shore, although I think he is going to be moving next season. But for now, he is there on the Tangled Shore. And if you do five Wrathborn hunts, you will get a pinnacle drop. Next up, let's check out the Europa activities for the week. So first of all, this week the simulation is agility. If you do one of those, you'll get a pinnacle reward. The Eclipse Zone this week is in Asterian Abyss. The Empire Hunt for the week is the Warrior. If you do two of those, you'll get a powerful tier one reward. And you can go down and speak to Varix, and if you do eight bounties, you get another powerful drop. And finally, as well with the Exo Stranger, if you kill 100 enemies with Stasis, you get another powerful drop. We're going all the way up here to the Deepstone Crypt. And it's been reset again. And the challenge this week is of all trades. Well, next up, let's check out the playlists and the pinnacles for the week. First of all, let's start out with Vanguard. And for the Nightfall this week, we've got the Scarlet Keep. And if you do the weekly Nightfall challenge, you get a powerful drop. And if you do the 100k Nightfall, you get a pinnacle reward. Check out the strikes for the week. So this week, it is a Solar Singe. So what you want to do is put on your Solar subclass, do three strikes, and you'll get a pinnacle reward. Oh, and one thing I did forget to mention with the Nightfalls is this week it's double rewards. A really, really good opportunity to get exotics or prisms or other upgrade materials. So double rewards this week, really, really good stuff. Next up, we've got Crucible. So let's check out what's going on this week with Lord Shax. So we've got the rotating playlist this week is Showdown. And then if you do three Crucible matches anywhere on the playlists, you will get a Pinnacle Drop. But there's no specialist playlist this week like Iron Banner. We have to wait until the weekend for Trials to come back. Let's check in on Gambit. Not really much happening with Gambit at the moment, but if you do three matches, you'll get a Pinnacle Reward. Let's check in with our vendors on the tower. If you do eight bounties for various vendors, you get powerful tier one rewards. So we've got here with the Drifter. We've got Banshee44, the Gunsmith. We've got Lord Shax with the Crucible. And we've got Zavala with the Strikes. And don't forget as well, the Prophecy Dungeon is back. It's been back for a few weeks, but it is worth pointing out because you get a pinnacle reward and it's a really, really good piece of content. So if you haven't jumped into the Prophecy Dungeon, then I definitely recommend you do that. Really, really good fun. While we're here in the tower, let's go and check out Banshee's inventory for today and see what he's got because normally he's selling some good mods. Let's run over here. So 
So today he's got the grenade launcher reserves and the rampage spec. So nothing really special today. I was kind of hoping for some war mine mods. But don't forget to check in every day to Banshee44 at reset time. Because he does sell those war mine cell mods and they're really, really good for making builds. Next up, let's run on over to Eververse and see what's going on in the store. So we've got that Amethyst Bloom for the shader. It's easy for me to say. We've got the Spider Projection. Oh, very nice. I like it. We've got the Atlas Runner as a sparrow. Looking nice, looking nice. Got the victory dance. That reminds me of a movie or something. Is it the Water Boy or Happy Gilmore? Something like that. Something along those lines. Let me know down in the comments if you know what that movie reference is. And we got the regular consumables too. So we got the Scavenger's Boon. We got the Glimmer Shard and the Concentrated Matter Gem. Let's check out the rest of the stuff this week. Just in the bright dust. We've got two hot. That is an emo. We've got the old ways, and that is a weapon ornament for Cloud Strike. Look at that. Really, really impressive stuff. I love this weapon. And that ornament is really, really good looking. Love it. Then we've got the refashioned shapes. That is an exotic ship. Very, very Scarlet Keep. It works well with this week's Nightfall. We've got the Mad Son of Seychelles. That is kind of a war mine style vehicle. Very nice. We've got the Linear Fusion Dance. We've got the Atlas Hauler. I really, really like that one. Love that style of ship. Very good. I might pick that one up later. And then we've got the Kit Bash Shell. Look at that. Really good. Looks like it's pieced together from loads of old junk or something. Look at that. It's even got a little plaster on it. I like it. I like that one. Then we've got the Catch Flight Entrance. Fairly self-explanatory. The guiding light. I like that one. I think that's great. And we've got reflection effects. Pretty good. Pretty trippy. And we've got some shaders too. Well, that is it for the regular weekly content, but let's check out some of the legacy content for the week. As always, let's start out on the moon. We'll start out with the Garden of Salvation raid. And this week's challenge is the leftovers. We've got the Pit of Heresy dungeon, and don't forget, in a couple of weeks, there's going to be new loot, so new weapons, new armor, or should I say returning weapons and armor, coming back to the Pit of Heresy in a couple of weeks. So. This and the Dreamy City is going to be a little bit more relevant once again. And we've got the Nightmares for the week. So we've got the Insanity Nightmare Hunt. We've got the Anguish Nightmare Hunt. And we've got the Pride Nightmare Hunt too. And the Trove Guardian this week is in the Anchor of Light. And also in the Anchor of Light this week, we've got the Wandering Nightmare, the Nightmare of Hotcris, Fear of Mithrax. So if you're hunting down for any of those things, you can find them in the Anchor of Light. And the last bit of legacy content for the week, let's check out the Dreaming City. So Petra this week, if you're looking for her, is down in the Davillion Mists. This week it is a growing curse on the Dreaming City, and the weekly mission is the Oracle Engine. If you're looking to do the Ascendant Challenge this week, it's the Cimmerian Garrison Chamber of Starlight. And that rounds up the legacy content for the week.
Well, on first inspection this week, it doesn't look like there's much new content, but if you haven't grabbed your random roll Hawkmoon yet from the Harbinger mission, I definitely recommend doing that. And if you can do it again this week, you pick up more feathers and hopefully, hopefully you'll get that ship. Really nice looking ship. I definitely recommend that one. And that Harbinger mission is a really, really good piece of content. They should definitely jump into that and give it a go if you haven't done yet. Well, that is it for the weekly reset info for the 26th of January 2021. And if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, subscribe and share with a friend. Join our community, check out the Discord link in the description. You can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.